Hey guys, how are you? Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about caps. Um, we don't talk enough about flat caps, newsboy caps, all sorts of caps. Uh, most of the time you see me talking about brims, like those brimmed hats up in the corner over there. Kichiku. Those guys. Um, the truth is, at JJ Hat Center, we sell just as many caps, dress caps, as we do brimmed hats, hats with a brim. Um, just as many, maybe more, it's possible. Um, we have a huge, huge selection. And um, basically, I'm here to just give you all of the ins and outs. So I've got a few people who've been asking me. First thing I'd like to talk about is how do we clean these suckers? How do you wash this? All right, let's talk about it. I'm gonna have a seat and talk about this one. All right, <clears throat> first of all, if it says dry clean only on it, ignore that. Do not dry clean it. Um, from my experience working at, you know, a hat shop like this of this quality, uh, this caliber, since uh, 1994, I've gotten at least a dozen people who have brought, and brought me caps that uh, were destroyed because they brought them to their dry cleaner. The dry cleaner took it, said, what the heck, I'll make some extra bucks, sprayed it with that stuff. It shrinks it and it strips it of color. They, they get like a lighter color and they're shrunken like crazy and basically they're useless. Uh, just totally shrunk. Don't take the chance. 100%. I've never seen one person who had that done successfully, not even one. Um, no, not a single one. But generally, yeah, they'll destroy anything, a felt hat, um, a cap, it just doesn't work. What you need to do is you need to hand wash it. That's the long and the short of it. It's like an airplane is passing. Well, we're on Queens Boulevard here. We're right next to LaGuardia Airport and stuff. Uh, I'll talk about my cap for a second. This is a Marlon uh, Brando, uh, what was that movie, the motorcycle cap you wore, the, the poster, uh, the wild one, I think. It's a replica of that cap uh, made by a French company. They uh, approached our, our shop in the late 90s, maybe early 2000s, late 90s. Um, they were very expensive then. This is a like a leather, a pigskin leather or something, all leather cap. They were about 250 bucks back in the 90s, so they were probably, you know, 350 or four now. But uh, the company has sort of disappeared. We, we've never seen them. But you can find Marlon Brando uh, caps. There are, you know, reissues of it in various qualities all over the place. Um, some of them are leather, some of them are not. Um, but anyway, this is not exactly a newsboy. A newsboy would snap down here. Okay, it's a Spitfire, a Spitfire cap has no snap, so you could wear it back to the side or to the front. It's also known as a three-way cap, a Spitfire cap. Um, I've called them Liverpools before, but uh, yeah, Spitfire is a little different. Kangol makes them without the, um, the eight pie sections. They just make it with simply a button on top. Um, it's got a cool look. Ladies like them, rockers like them. Everybody seems to like them because you could wear them like a regular newsboy like this, or wear them back or to the side and stuff. They're pretty cool. Um, that's a Spitfire. And no, we don't sell it. And uh, this is just an old, I just didn't have any caps at my home to demonstrate with, except for one Ivy and one Newsboy-ish cap. So that's why I'm using it. All right, when you need to clean your cap, this is what you have to do. You've got to take the lining inside, pull it out like that, all right? What you basically want to do is hand wash this hat with about a quarter cap full of woolite, you know, the cap, very little bit, about a quarter of that, and uh, lukewarm water. You could just do that in your sink. You just wash your sink, you know, with like a nice towel or something. Make sure the sink itself is very, very clean. Get it, you know, the sides of the sink, everything, the, the hardware, the, the drain. Wash it well. And then you start washing in your sink. Um, get the water coming down. You could use a little brush. I use those little plastic nail brushes for your fingernails. I use one of those. And what you do is you wash the sweat band. The water's coming down. You could use a little bit of, you know, the soap and stuff from the, from 
the, the basin. And then you're going to just wash the whole sweat band. You're going to wash the lining, all of the lining, okay? You're going to rinse it, rinse it out with the water. And you're going to avoid this. The peak usually has cardboard in there. There's something called uh, visor board in there. It's usually like a cardboard that's kind of like a foam cardboard, like a foam co covered cardboard, something like that. But um, they can crack. If they get wet and you do something like this once, it'll split and then the cap is toast. You can't get those things replaced. You just, you can't do it. So once this visor splits down the middle, your cap is dead pretty much. So you protect that thing at all costs. Don't submerge it in the water. Don't dip it at all. Don't even wash it. Just wash the sweat down. That's the part that's making contact with your head. If anything, you might get a little bit of dirt beyond the sweatbands right here on the perimeter. You wash up to there or something and that's it. Don't soak it, don't get it wet. Rinse everything, okay? Put it back together like this, you know? Get your lining back in there. It's all rinse, soap is out of the hat. You put it down on a towel, away from heat. No heat at all, that means if it's winter, and the heat is just in your house, you have to crack the window a little bit. It has to be cool, not warm. So if your house is nice and toasty and it's winter and the heat is pumping, or if it was yesterday or the day before, crack the window, let it dry at room temperature, okay? Um, and that's it. Basically, the last thing you might have to do is when it's totally dry, is steam it. You can hold it by a steamer, take like a little like a baseball-sized water tissue and just rub it from the inside as you steam. So that way you're rubbing out the creases and you're also protecting your hand from the, getting burned from the steam. The other way to do it is when the hat is about 80 to 90% dry, like almost dry, you start stuffing it with a little flat pancakes of tissue, like the ones that come in the caps when you first buy them. Make yourself little flat pancakes and stuff the tissue really tight so it's nice and taut and all the wrinkles are gone. It's about when the hat is, you know, 90, 80% dry and stuff. Tight with the tissue, stuff it and let it dry. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.